optimization can help us to maximize the profit of a firm that has more than one plants. So let's consider this example in which a factory or a firm has two factories. One is in China and the other is in US. So the output that is produced in a China factory is considered as X and the output produced in US factory is considered as Y. So cost of product shall be equal to the uh, cost caused in one factory and cost incurred in the other factory. This is the cost incurred in China factory and this is the cost incurred in US factory. So we add both of these components of the costs. And then we have the uh, certain costs, their equations C1 and C2. We have these equations. So we add them now because we want the overall cost uh, uh, incurred due to X production and Y production. So we here we have added the two components. These two components are added. So we get the total cost. So we can also do profit maximization as we said in the beginning. But in this case, we are not given any revenue function. So we are only going to do the cost minimization here. But if we are given uh, profit uh, revenue function, then we can also do the profit maximization. So this is Cx, that is the derivative of function C with respect to X. And you can take this derivative easily. This is C function and its derivative with respect to X is here. This is Cx and it is put equal to zero because we want to develop the first order condition. Then we have Cy and it is the derivative of cost function with respect to Y as you can see here and its uh, answer will be equal to zero. So uh, because of the first order condition requirement. So we have these two equations Cx and Cy. We can solve them simultaneously. So we solve this and this equation. We will get x status and y status. You can do this yourself, this simple algebra. After solving these two equations, we get the critical values of x and y, which are 350 respectively. Then we can go towards the second order conditions. And for that, we want to find out the derivative uh, in four ways that is cxx, cyy, cxy and cyx. So it is again the derivative of cx with respect to x, derivative of cx with respect to y, derivative of cy with respect to y and derivative of cy with respect to x. These two should be equal because of the Young's theorem. And these two, however, they are not equal because they are different cross partial direct derivatives. Both of them are uh, positive uh, because one of them is 1 over 30, which is a positive value, and other is y over 25, where y is a positive value, that is, it is the uh, cost incurred in some uh, output produced in some factory. That is the US factory. Let's go back and see where y, y, y is. This is the output. So output cannot be negative. Therefore, the answer of y over 25 will be positive, a positive value divided by 25. Now we can, this was the necessary part of the second order condition. We can also consider the sufficient part of the sec uh, second order condition. So in the sufficient part, we compare these two values. And here we can see that it is uh, having a greater than sign. So it is the critical thing, the positivity of the necessary part of the second order condition. And that signifies that the cost is minimized. And at, uh, it will be m minimized at uh, x is equal to 300 and y is equal to 50. So you can also find the minimized value of cost. And for that you will put the critical values of x and y in the cost function. So if you look at the cost function, it is um, a lengthy function. This is the cost function. So here you put x status instead of x, y status 
and then y status and then x status put their values that is 350 let us verify their values the critical values are 350 so you you put these values here and you will get the cost which will be minimized so in this way we can do the optimization of a firm that is multi-plant firm and in that um, optimization you can do the uh, profit maximization if the revenue function is given and if it is not given then you can do the cost minimization thank you